For the National Telecommunications Commission, the country's telco duopoly, partaking of a viable yet idle asset, is all good. This is why the NTC last week approved the petition of Smart and Globe to co-use the frequencies of Bell Telecommunications, paving the way for the 69.1 billion peso takeover by PLDT and Globe of Belltel, which is owned by San Miguel's Vega Telecom. Included in Belltel's treasure chest is the priced 700 MHz band, a low-frequency spectrum that can allow telcos to save on base stations as it covers nearly triple the ground of higher-frequency bands and can penetrate indoors. But as a caveat, the NTC specified that it can reverse its decision if any of the preconditions aren't met, among them, increasing broadband capacity within one year and submitting a rollout plan for the entire country. We expect that within three to, to six months, no, there should be or there must be a significant improvement in uh, uh, the, the quality of service or the, what you call the broadband speed delivered to the consumers and prices expected also to, to be reduced. The NTC had already joined her for critics of the surprise deal, citing common good. So it was approved because the commission kase is looking at the um, uh, con benefits to the consumers. No? Kase co-use of active and passive infrastructure, network infrastructure, reduces costs and uh, increases capacity. So increased capacity, reduction in costs, would be beneficial to consumers because it will uh, result to higher speed, internet access speed, at uh, lower prices. But independent ICT policy researcher Grace Melendilla Santos says it's worrisome how the NTC allows private firms to broker deals involving frequencies which are valuable state assets. All these private companies are the ones deciding on how to use the spectrum when in fact it should be the state. And in this case, it should be NTC. So I think and the burden is on the NTC to make uh, a review of its spectrum management and allocation for all spectrum. Though the ink has barely dried on a contract between San Miguel and the country's top two telecom players, challengers are now raring to junk it. Partilist representative Nerico Menares says the deal has been executed with undue haste. And for long as it doesn't bring another telco in the competition, cannot improve the source state of the country's internet speed. So, kami sa NTC, ano ang what's behind this? Ano ang nangyayari doon? Bakit napakabilis? Pero ito yung sigurado dyan. Hindi gaganda ang internet natin hanggat dalawa lang ang humahawak ng business. Hanggat duopoly yan, hindi gaganda. Yung mga promise ng, ng Globe at PLDT na gaganda, hindi yan mangyayari. Though Smart and Globe will relinquish certain frequencies to the government to make way for a prospective third player, these frequencies may not be enough to challenge the dominance of Smart and Globe. NTC says these frequencies may only be attractive to players that already have existing infrastructure in the country. Still, the NTC says it is hoping there is space for a third player to emerge to help improve broadband services. Bimbo Santos, Bloomberg TV, Philippines.